Good afternoon, this is Thomas Greer, uh, nursing instructor with TCAT Nashville. I'm going to be demonstrating the bedpan, the bed bath, and the occupied bed. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let our patient know. We're going to begin with the bedpan. Uh, we are going to um, turn our patient on her side. Okay. And I'm going to use the fracture bedpan. We want to make sure that my handle is on the outside. Um, and furthermore, with our fracture bed pan, we can actually have them lift if they are able to. We we'll put this up under the bed, um, put this to the bottom. Okay. And we're just going to turn them back on their, on their back. Okay. Uh, we're going to have our patient up and we're going to put their head up. Okay. All right. And we are going to. Um, give our patient the toilet paper, okay? And we're gonna make sure that they have a call light and we're gonna give them some privacy and they can call us when they are done. Okay. It's the bed pain, okay? Are you gonna do these separately or just keep on rolling? Whatever you want. Okay, all right. So our patient is called, we're gonna come back and we're going to put our patient down. Take our bed to take our bed pan out, and we are going to um, make sure that we are going to clean from front to back, okay. provide any additional care, no care, bring them on their, bring them back on our back, okay. and we're going to go ahead and begin our bed bath. Let's go ahead and take our blanket off so it can be out of our way. I have everything ready here. I have my sheets, I have my towels, and I have my wash basin. Okay. Now look on this side. I'm going to bring the patient's bed, the bed up to my level. We're going to go ahead and spread it out. And we have also, uh, at this point, uh, provided for privacy for our patient. Okay. We're going to go ahead and begin with the face, with the eyes, with water, with one piece of the blush cloth. We're going to go from the inner canvas to the outer, the inner canvas to the outer canvas. Okay. We're going to wash our face, usually with water. Our patients usually don't prefer not to have stuff on their face. We're going to move down to the neck. And we're going to go ahead and expose the chest and the abdomen. Cover our patient up. We're going to expose the right arm here. Okay. We're going to
we're going to start with the hand and work our way up. We do want to make sure that we are getting in between each toe, that we don't allow soap to dry in the toe. We can also inspect our heel and do our overall head to toe skin assessment as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash the other foot, which is considered we're going from dirty to dirty. Okay. Now again, you can do this in any order that you want to, as long as you're maintaining your rules of sanitation. So there's many variations. Okay. So we've gone down, started with the face, we've done the chest and the abdomen, we've gone down this side, we're gonna repeat everything on this side, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and do perineal care. We have a female here, so we are going to, uh, before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and change our water Okay, because we've left a dirty area. Right. Change our water. We're going to go from the front to the back. Front to the back. And our front to the back. Okay, and we're going to save the bottom till last. And we're going to go ahead and dry and, and cover our patient back up. Now we're going to go ahead and change our water for our second change. Okay. And now we're ready to turn over to the side. We've got clean water. We're going to start from the top. Down. And we're going to clean the bottom. We're going to go front to back, front to back. Now we're ready to go into our occupied bed. We go ahead and get all of our bath components out of the way. Way down, push up under the patient, put our fitted sheet on. I'm going to put this braille down so I can actually for the patient. So we're going to go ahead and put everything the dirty, the clean up under the dirty. So we can go ahead and fan fold everything across. And as tight as we can get it at this point, we're going to go ahead and put our draw sheet on. Now this is a really extra large sheet here. So we're just going to fall from top to the bottom, so in half, let's go ahead and put those two together, and we're going to have to fold it a few times here, because our patient is actually pretty small, so we're not going to need a whole lot. 
So we're going to fold it into actually a quarter. We do want to make sure that the seam is going to be up under the patient and not up under the patient. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and secure everything over here and fold everything under first so we can actually make this pretty tight. Get all your wrinkles out. And have that going the same way. Now we're going to have the patient turn over. And that's going to help me finish on the other side there. patient's gown on. We're just going to pull this out. And put our top sheet on. spread. So we can go ahead and we can go ahead and tuck everything together, the sheet as well as the bedspread. Okay. We have a lot left over because we're working with the gurney here. And we can do the mitering both at once. Okay. We'll just grab those up two together. Okay. Make our miter. Okay. down. Okay, we do want to make sure that we grab up here so we're not going to constrict the feet or the toes, which is going to contribute to foot drop. And we're going to change our pillowcase. our side rail. And we're going to put the patient down on the ground. And make sure that we, our patient has her call right. Okay. 